Um, so because I travel a lot and I go out in public dressed like this, very interesting things happen to me. Can I just tell you that? It's just an interesting life when you, when you put this on. And one of my favorite stories is I used to live in Seattle, Washington, so I spent many years at a mission in Seattle. And um, Seattle, Washington, not exactly the bastion for orthodoxy, okay? Um, the national religion of the state of Washington is recycling, so don't mix up the glass and the plastic. You could go straight to hell, okay? So that's what happens there. And so there I was in Seattle, and um, people don't, I, I was telling the kids today, I've been to Catholic schools around the nation. And I will ask the Catholic schools, have you ever seen a nun before? And not one raises their hand. Catholic schools, not one. So I never take for granted that people know who I am. So I get all kinds of interesting responses. So I was at a grocery store like Publix many, many years ago, and I was in the produce section because nuns eat kale. And so I was putting the produce in my bag, and all of a sudden I, hear, I see this man approaching very rapidly. I'm like, okay, incoming, incoming, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And so I'm getting ready to, I don't know what's going to happen, but this man just runs up to me, and he's like 60 years old, and he says, oh, are you a nun? And I said, yes, yes I am. <laughs> and he said, wow, they still make nuns. <laughs> I said, yeah, yes they do, sir, they still make nuns. And so he began to tell this story when he was in third grade about Sister Patty, his favorite sister ever. And have you ever, have you ever been in the presence of somebody telling a story and they like lose, they just like they're lost in time and all of a sudden they're a child again? And this man's countenance, because I don't always hear that story, let me tell you, but uh, his whole countenance just changed. And he was once again, not a 60 year old man, but he was a little boy in Sister Patty's third grade class. And he was telling me how much he loved her. And he said, Sister, I got the ruler all the time, but I deserved it every single time. He's like, I, <laughs> let me just be really honest, I, t I totally deserved it. And he just stopped and he just kind of came back to himself and just recollected himself. And he looked at me and he said, thank you, sister. He said, thank you so much. And he said, I loved those sisters. I love them. And he walked away. And I don't know his story. Like you have a story, he has a story too. I don't know if he still practices. I don't know if he still believes in God. But for an instant, his life was transported back to when he had a deep joy in his life, when trouble had been overcome by Sister Patty in the third grade. You know? And it's just interesting when we kind of think about those moments. And we have those moments that kind of just stop time and those moments where it's a really good time we ask ourselves. And sometimes the question just presents itself, whether we like it or not, that says, you know, why are you doing what you're doing?